The purpose of these video clips is to clarify the simplicity of electronics. Today's video clip is section 5.1, Electronic Digital Component Basics. We'll start with a general description. Analog components rely on a wide range of voltages. Electronic noise can produce incorrect results. Digital components reduce electronic noise interference. A digital component, I.O., I.O. means input and output, is labeled as a 1 or 0. With a digital component powered by 3.3 volts and ground, an input of 0 volts is labeled 0. An output of 0 volts is also labeled 0. An input of 3.3 volts is labeled 1. An output of 3.3 volts is also labeled 1. It is not necessary to label the power and ground for digital components. We'll clarify further with a detailed description. We'll use a logic gate powered by 3.3 volts and ground. Input voltages and output voltages between 0 volts and 0 0.8 volts are labeled 0. Input and output voltages between 2.4 volts and 3.3 volts are labeled 1. Input voltages between 0 0.8 volts and 2.4 volts produce unpredictable output voltages. The input voltage could be interpreted as a 0 or a 1. This should never happen unless there is a connection error on the PCB. We'll continue this detailed description. Electronic noise has little effect on digital component results. The input voltages do not need to be precise. A logic gate powered by 3.3 volts and a ground, 0 could be a voltage between 0 volts and 0 0.8 volts. 0 0.1 volts is a 0. 0 0.5 volts is also a 0. A 1 could be a voltage between 2.4 volts and 3.3 volts. 2.5 volts is a 1. 3.1 volts is also a 1. These voltage ranges provide protection from electronic noise. If the input toggles between 0.1 volts and 0.5 volts, the input is still a zero. Some low power digital components may have different voltage levels. The Texas Instruments 74 AUC logic gate powered by 1.8 volts. A zero could be a voltage between 0 volts and 0.63 volts. A one could be a voltage between 1.17 volts and 1.8 volts. Data sheets provide the IO voltage parameters. Let's look at some basic logic gates. Basic digital logic gates include an inverter gate, an AND gate, an AND gate, an OR gate, and a NOR gate. We'll start with an inverter gate. For an inverter gate, when the input is a 0, the output is a 1. When the input is a 1, the output is a 0. Here's an example. The output voltage is the opposite of the input voltage, an inverter. We'll continue with an AND gate. With an AND gate, if any input is a 0, the output is a 0. When both inputs are a 1, the output is a 1. Here is an example. The output is a 1 only when both inputs are a 1. How about an AND gate? For an AND gate, if any input is a 0, the output is a 1. When both inputs are a 1, the output is a 0. Here is an example. Let's move on to an OR gate. For an OR gate, if any input is a 1, the output is a 1. When both inputs are a 0, the output is a 0. Here is an example. We'll continue with an OR gate. For an OR gate, if any input is a 1, the output is 0. When both inputs are a 0, the output is a 1. Here is an example. Some logic gates are available with an open drain option. An open drain logic gate simplifies voltage level shifting. Open drain devices require a pull-up resistor. We'll use the 74LV07A buffer for an example, powered by 3 volts and ground. Case 1. VR equals 5 volts. When VN equals 3 volts, V out equals 5 volts. This converts the 3 volt input to a 5 volt output. Case 2. VR equals 1.8 volts. When VN equals 3 volts, V out equals 1.8 volts. This converts the 3 volt input to a 1.8 volt output. Open drain devices are clarified further in the comparator video clip. We'll move on to sink current versus source current. 
For digital logic gate components, the current into the component output is a sink current. The current out of the component output is a source current. For a 74LS04 inverter logic gate powered by 3 volts, when the output is 0 volts, the maximum output sink current is 16 milliamps. When the output is 3 volts, the maximum output source current is 0.4 milliamps. Sink and source current maximums can differ for different components. Check the datasheet to identify sink and source current values. And now a sink current versus source current example. We'll use a 74LS04 inverter logic gate powered by 5 volts. 5 volts in results in 0 volts out. We'll add a resistor to the output. 5 volts in results in 0 volts out. The sink current equals 5 volts divided by 1K, which equals 5 milliamps. 0 volts in results in 5 volts out. We'll add a resistor to the output. 0 volts in equals 0.4 volts out instead of 5 volts out. This is because the maximum source current is 0.4 milliamps. 0.4 milliamps times 1K equals 0.4 volts. Bottom line, logic gates provide very little source current. We'll conclude this section with a logic gate switch debounce example. When a mechanical switch changes position, the switch output bounces. Example 1. The switch connects V out to ground. V out bounces from 1 to 0. Example 2. With digital logic gates. Open drain. V out changes from 1 to 0 with no bounce. This concludes section 5.1, Electronic Digital Component Basics.